You have entered the Chronix rabbit hole, and Jack, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request. You are bringing us back, Therian, and the song is Rise of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. Thank you so much, Jack, for bringing Therian back down the rabbit hole. I'm really excited for this and for the write-up that you gave us, letting us know that they are live with the Muskolk Hungarian Orchestra, yes. and only two bands have ever been invited to play with the Muskolk Hungarian Orchestra, and that is Therian, who we're going to see now, and Epica. So I am really looking forward to see what is in store with Therian and a full orchestra behind them. Yeah, this goes classic. Let's check it out with them. Rise of Sodom and Gomorrah. We love our Bible, so that's very intriguing for us as well. Here we go. Ooh. So far. This is really good. I can definitely see um because Therian are the pioneers of symphonic metal, yeah. and so I can really see it shining right now. Right eh? now, no uh, with everything that they do put together and then having the full orchestra backing them. Oh, totally. And like it makes me want to think what it sounds like without all this going on too. And but this sounds like the original of how good it sounds. Mm -hmm. So like holy crap. <laughs>
Wow. Very cool. So that was a very cool performance yeah. by Therian and the Misuk, Miss Kolk, Miss Kolk um, Orchestra. Yeah. So I realized I pronounced that wrong when I was saying, I'm like, that's not right. Um, very cool performance. I loved seeing them all together and seeing Therian with a live concert behind them being yeah, the yeah. pioneers of symphonic metal. That was something that I was really hoping to see, and I'm glad I got to see it. Mm -hmm. um, I loved this... Uh, performance that they put through because it allowed each of the members to kind of shine especially the singers yeah um the two girls there and then having that orchestra uh choir behind them with the um very low bass tones of the gentlemen in the choir as well as um having some more female voices to accentuate their own right. in front of such a big concert yeah um and then the uh guitarist was had a really just that chugging riff that, that whole time, time eh? that one chugging riff that yeah. just kept going and then being backed with there is a um that that riff being backed by the horns the french horns and the and the bass yeah. line of the concert oh and, uh, totally it felt marching the, very marching yeah the very good way to put it yeah um it just it was all together it was just such a beautiful piece it was it turned extremely beautiful and i think the thing about sodom and gomorrah at least for us is we always hear about the fall mm -hmm. of sodom and gomorrah and not the, the rise. rise and i think it's amazing because actually that was apparently sodom and gomorrah was one of the pinnacles of um enlightenment as well and actually it was mm -hmm. a beautiful city and like like it was the golden age time so like it's actually pretty cool to see the the brilliance that was coming out of it and i thought that uh, was yeah. actually kind of cool to see because it was very much this song was very much building up the entire time oh yeah it was. <laughs> and um right when it ended because it had been building for so long with yeah. that consistent rift going all the mm -hmm, way through mm -hmm. When it had ended, I kind of was hoping there would be another piece. Yeah, I thought there was going to be another piece too. that was going to be coming from it, but... It made me think, um, is the fall coming now? Yeah. It just stopped there, right? <laughs> perhaps there, because um, this is just one song, perhaps yeah. there is a, th a two-parter or three-parter right. um, that, that we just aren't listening to because we just have the one song. But it was very much like building up right until the end mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that was something that i really enjoyed about this song because it um gives you that uh that rising feeling it's not the full story um it's one of the first times that the 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 rhythm guitar was overpowering the solos even for me yeah and like that's okay because even the solos are coming and we're just a little touch but there was some parts in the orchestra where it was just going off where I was just loving mm -hmm. it, and I think that was the star for me. And like you say, getting to have that experience with them performing with them, mm -hmm. like we've seen with Epica, and I would love to see Epica's performance with them as well. Absolutely. I don't know if there is. I'm sure you guys can let us know, but we love Therian. It was nice seeing them in a different because um, we usually see them in gothic so it was nice yes. to see them perform in a different style they sounded amazing and like you said um, the singers themselves being singled out there and getting to see them perform that was really amazing too so i hope you guys had Absolutely. a good time with us as well because we are exiting the rabbit hole now folks thank you so much everyone for being here we really enjoyed this thoroughly enjoyed hearing the miss Gol miss gulk band <laughs> yeah. um orchestra sorry um absolutely phenomenal performance i'm looking forward to seeing more coming down the rabbit hole from therian peace and love everyone god bless you take care and bye for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness special shout out to all of our patrons and youtube members we appreciate all of your support